What's up guys? So when Apple announced the iPhone 16 and Apple Intelligence back in September, they also announced a brand new AI feature to go along with the iPhone 15 Pro series and the iPhone 16 series with Image Playground. Well, after two months and a lengthy early access period, I've been using it on my iPhone 15 Pro for about the last week now, and I figured out a couple things about it. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. What's going on guys, Ty Tech here, back again. And here are all my notes and discoveries about Apple Intelligence and Image Playground. As always guys, I'm your host, Ty Tech. If you enjoy content like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments whether or not any of you guys have been messing around with Image Playground. And if you have, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and share some of your creations with me too. I'd like to check them out. Now I do have to preface this before I start this video. Image Playground is exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pros and the iPhone 16 series. And this feature is still very much in beta. It's gonna be released with the full public release of iOS 18.2. So if you guys would like to jump on that, head on over to Apple's beta software program where you can sign up. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But of course, that comes with its own risk. If you know, you know. Now, if you're still unaware of what Image Playground is, Image Playground is an app for creating fun ideas and concepts out of descriptions and people that you know, including yourself. Image Playground also comes with Jinmoji as well, which is essentially the same thing, but with emojis. But let's start with Image Playground first. Now, like I said before, if you guys wanna use Image Playground, you have to be using an iPhone 15 Pro or newer, and it has to be updated to iOS 18.2. Like I said earlier, if you guys would like to sign up for 18.2, I'll leave a link in the description to sign up for Apple's beta software program. Now, so you guys can follow along at home and really figure out how to use this app. I'll have a screen recording right over here on the side so you guys can follow along. But if you guys have updated to iOS 18.2 and are using a newer iPhone, just follow along with me. On your front screen, you'll actually see this brand new icon here that says Playground. And it has this little cute little, this cute little AI generated image right over here. Look at that, look how cute he is. We're gonna tap on that icon right there. And as you can see, it comes up saying that you can design an image or add a suggestion from the list. Now, right here is where you can actually hit this plus sign and you have a choice between two different styles. You have animation and illustration. Honestly, I, I'm more of a fan of the animation, so we're gonna keep it like that. And you have the option to choose or take a photo here. So we're gonna take a photo of yours truly. Yeah, look at that sexy bastard. <laughs> right, we're gonna use that and then you should see that image that you take fold around this bubble and it's very animated. And as you can see right there, it starts animating and generating different AI animated photos of myself. So you can see there, uh, that one's actually pretty good. I like that one. Makes you look very sophisticated. Oh, I got a, I don't know what kind of hat that is. Why my eyes so big? Why I got hair like that? What the hell? Well, Image Playground does say it may create unexpected results, so keep that in mind. But if I want to, I can go ahead and add different elements to spruce this up. So we're gonna add some sci-fi into the mix. And if you hit show more underneath the suggestions, you actually have the choice of adding themes, costumes, accessories, and different places that your image can actually be in. So I have, what do I have here? I have some sci-fi going on. So I'm gonna add some Starry Night. I'm a Vincent Van Gogh fan a little bit. And we're gonna tap on that bubble to enlarge it. And there you can see I'm literally in space. Yes, I'm literally in space. I'm an astronaut. And actually there's a option for astronauts. So we're gonna go ahead and add that too. And we're gonna see what Image Playground cooks up. And there I am in space among the stars where I belong. And then you can see all these different images that are coming up here and it'll just keep generating different images. Some of them are gonna, go, or some of them are gonna look remarkably the same. Like you can see those two right there, they're almost exactly identical. But once you actually find one that you like, you can go ahead and hit done or you can press these little three dots here and you can save that image and it'll save directly into your camera roll and it'll save completely in the Image Playground app for you guys to look back at. Now, Image Playground isn't perfect at all. Like I said before, this feature is still very much in beta, but it does lose some elements of some descriptions that you try to put in. For example, if I were to put myself in a blue house and any other element, it kind of loses the house element and then just adds the blue part. So obviously Image Playground isn't completely perfect just yet, 
But I had a lot of fun just going out and taking random pictures of my friends and family and creating really whatever came to my mind. And some of them were actually really spot on, like this one of my boy Kyrie thugging it out on Halloween as he always does. Like these two of my bosses, Chuckster and Kevin, with Charlie in a disco with a scarf on. I could actually see him wearing that. And Kevin looking like the frat boy at every tailgate. Like this one of my beautiful stepmother. And some of them are completely off, like this one of my father. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk a little bit about Jinmoji, which is honestly my favorite of the two features that were introduced with Image Playground. Now, just like before guys, I'll have a little screen recording going on the side so you guys can follow along with me if you guys would like. But all you gotta do is go into your messaging app because Jinmoji only works inside of the messaging app. We're gonna go ahead and tap on your first thread. Now this can be used with people who are using an iPhone or an Android. It doesn't have to be, e it doesn't have to be exclusively either one. All you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on your starting thread, tap on your emojis, and then you'll see this colorful emoji symbol all the way up at the upper right-hand corner of your emoji menu. You're gonna tap on that. And then it's gonna let you start designing and describing whatever kind of emoji you want so that you can actually add it on and send it to somebody. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna describe anything. We're gonna do a blue basketball. Let's start that, let's start simple. And we got that blue basketball looking like someone's trying to dunk on Neptune. And that actually looks really good. Let's try that. Let's try that with something else. Let's, uh, let's think of something. Let's do a red flamingo. We'll see what uh, Apple cooks up with that one, eh? Yep, there we go. And there we go, a beautiful red flamingo. I honestly can't tell the difference between that and a regular flamingo. But we're gonna try that one more time. Let's go ahead and try uh, a, let's say a basket of fruit. Let's say a basket of fruit. We're gonna do a basket of fruit. Oh, and there it actually creates a really lovely basket of fruit. We got some apples with the handle of the basket going through the apple. And we actually got some really vivid ones. Ooh, that one actually, it looks like it has some melons in there. So they're actually, these are actually really bright and vivid images. This is part of what I love about Jinmoji because they look like they were already in iOS. They look like they were already there. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna tap on the one that you actually want to send and you're gonna send that off to whoever it is that you're talking to. And you have a brand new emoji for you to use whenever you want to. And the good part about these is whoever you send it to can actually save that emoji as a sticker and use it for themselves, but they cannot save that emoji for themselves to use it at other times. Like they can't save the emoji to use as an emoji for themselves, if that, if that makes sense. Personally, for me, I loved using Jinmoji way more than I loved using Image Playground. I loved just fiddling around with it and seeing what kind of different wacky emojis that I could create. And I came up with some really hilarious ones. Here are some of my favorites. Uh, we got Juanita and Peaches, the uh, two panda sisters. We got my man's Bojack Horse Policeman. Rehab was supposed to be a fresh start. I got my man's Tony the Tiger to switch lanes to General Mills, finally, after all these years. And of course, we got the evil pizzas from that one episode of Jimmy Neutron. Honestly, I love how Apple pulled off Jinmoji. I love how vivid, bright, and beautiful all the emojis are. I love their cute little facial expressions. What can I say? Sue me. And I love the fact that they look like they were already supposed to be a part of iOS to begin with, AI or not. I did notice a couple things about Jinmoji while testing it out. It won't make an emoji out of anything too gruesome, even if it involves an existing emoji. Like say, for example, we take the pointing up emoji, it will not take that finger and then break oh. it. It won't do anything so gruesome. And it also won't take existing emojis and ramp them up to anything that's above where it should be. And what I mean by that is, I don't think it's gonna create emojis that can really be used in terms of violence. Like, even though you now have the opportunity to make a actual gun emoji, you can't take that and level it up to say like a machine gun. It's not gonna do that. And you can't take the knife emoji and try to make a machete. It's just not gonna work. I don't think anyone really expected Apple to let people make stuff like that, especially on their precious little iPhones. But hey, you can make a tank. Did I mention the tank is a tank? Sold. But after using Image Playground 
and Genmoji for a little bit over a week. I'm actually pretty excited for what Apple has in store for both of these features and Apple intelligence overall. I would give both of these features a solid B plus as of right now. Of course, there are many quirks that need to be worked out. These features are still very much in beta, like the incomplete emojis that sometimes get created or just making things that just don't make sense. Again, I'm sorry that, but those quirks will be worked out in later updates. So we'll just have to wait and see. But guys, that's gonna do it for me and my week long experience with Apple Intelligence, Image Playground, and Jinmoji. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on social media too. I would love to see some of you guys' wacky and crazy emojis and generated images. I know all of you guys have been creating some really f***ed up sh in you guys' heads and on you guys' phones. So follow me on social media, share them with me, but I will see you guys on the next one. Later. What's going on guys, Ty Tech here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video and like to check out more content like this, go ahead and click on one of my other videos that should be floating around the screen right now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Later.